my channel and today's video is a very special video where I am collaborating with two other Indian YouTubers. You will get to know about them here. Hey lovelies, this is Dimple here and my channel name is Dimple D'Souza. Well, my channel is all about tips and tricks to look the best. So from hair care, treatment to beautiful skin treatment, everything, all the knowledge you'll get from this channel. So if you want to know more about me, the link is going to be in the description box. So do check that out. That's it I have to say. Love you guys. Bye bye. Hi everyone, this is Bidisha here. My YouTube username is Mermaid Bidisha. I make beauty, makeup, fashion and travel videos on YouTube. So if you're interested in watching more of my videos, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. The link of which is given below in the description box. This is a very special video guys has a year's ending and this is going to be my last collaboration for 2015 with these two beautiful amazing youtubers so I feel so lucky and yes don't forget to subscribe to them because it means a lot to all three of us like subscribe to all of us so Dimple's channel's name is Dimple Disusa and Bidisha's channel's name is Mermaid Bidisha so I hope you subscribe to all three of us it'll mean a lot to us even like our videos do care at all our videos we have plenty of videos so I hope it really helps you guys for all the newbies who is watching me for the first time I am Priyanka George and welcome to my channel Princess Priyanka Loves Food and Mac I make videos on DIY, skin and hair and health, weight loss and loads of tips and loads of remedies for everything. So stay tuned to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I even do makeup tutorials once in a while. I'm still learning so it's not like a continuous basis. But when I learn something new and when I feel confident to share with you guys, I make makeup tutorials. As for today's video, it's going to be on this look. I start with hydrating my lips with the Body Shop Lip and Cheek Velvet Stick. I have a complete review on this and then on top of that I apply the Maybelline Baby Lips Electro Pop and then I hydrate my eyes and even my forehead because my skin is super dry with Nivea Cream. Now to conceal my eyes, I'm using the TV Paint Stick from Krylon in the shade FS45. To mattify everything, I'm using the Dream Satin Skin 2-Way Cake in the shade B2 from Maybelline so that everything is just dry and everything is mattified so that the eyeshadow remains well on my eyelids. Now for the base eyeshadow and this is the main eyeshadow, I'm using the Mary Luminizer from the Balm and I'm applying it all over my eyelids. The large eyeshadow brush from Makeup For You. Now all the products which I'm using, I'll mention it in the description box. Now for the eyeliner, I'm going to use the Hyper Glossy from Maybelline. I'm so obsessed with this uh, liner and it is so good guys. It's so easy to use and I started very thin first and then gradually I increase it and shape it well because first I don't go neat with it but then gradually I like thicken it and try to be a little neat. Now I'm working slowly so that I can get a good line not too messy not too untidy and then later on I take it towards the inner corners and stretch it out a little bit a teeny weeny Arabic look not too dramatic but just a little bit for that little e-style but then I don't make it too prominent to see that like this and then I am going to start with my wing and for the wing I'm going to take a cello tape so that I get a line for once at least and I remove all the excess of the stickiness and then I start with my wing and even the makeup around that place okay otherwise this cello tape is just not going to stick and then I start with my wing and I try to thicken it and darken it gradually and on top of this I apply the gel liner now guys when you remove like this often you're going to get wrinkles okay so don't do this often I do it like once a month maybe and on top of this I'm applying the gel liner from Maybelline and then to darken that more and give that little glossiness I'm applying the Maybelline Hyper Glossy again now I'm going to be waterlining my eyes with the Plum Kajal. I have a complete review on this. You can check in the description box. This is my favorite. It really opens up the eyes super well. Even the lash line. I mean even the lashes look long. I don't know how but this is way. I apply it only on my waterline. And then wherever I feel it has to be darkened, I apply this because this is seriously better than a gel liner also. Now it's time to play with my outer corner. I'm going to use an eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown in the shade Saddle 61. I'm going to be applying it with a contour eye brush from Makeup For You. And I'm going to be applying it on the outer corner and blending it gradually so that 
it looks neat and till I am satisfied but I don't go above the crease just on my crease okay then I blend everything with a clean sponge applicator and now it's time to highlight my brows I'm using the dream Lumi from Maybelline in the shade buff cameos and I just blend everything well with my fingertips it looks super neat and now for that little more highlight and more finishing I'm using again the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. Again, I take it even on the inner corners and I apply it even on, like, uh, what do I call this place? Below where I waterlined my eyes. It just highlights the whole eyes very nicely. But I'm so sorry I went off camera a little bit, but you can get it, I guess. And then I just blend everything again so that everything just looks neat, no harsh lines. For the little more sheen, I'm just applying it again so it just brightens up everything because the whole face is so nude. I need a little luminous look so I'm applying it there. I even applied on my brows to highlight it but not on the whole brows just on the arch. I use a concealer brush for the brows for the inner corners and all that and now I'm using my favorite current mascara from Rimmel, the Volume Flash scandal eyes i really love this guys and i apply loads of it and then i just do some touch up to my brows and everything for that good finish and now i have to clean up whatever is out on my skin with the elizabeth arden makeup remover and i really like this now it's time to hydrate my full face with the nivea cream and I let it get soaked into my skin for a few minutes and then I apply my favorite super coverage foundation stick from Krylon, the TV paint stick in the shade FS45. This is super good and I'm using the beauty sponge from Forever 21. It's time to even highlight under my eyes. I'm using the Dream Lumi from Maybelline in the shade Buff Cameos and then buffing it nicely into my skin and then I'm applying the highlighter again from Estee Lauder for that really good highlight look I have a full review on that I'll put them in the description box and then I set everything again with the Maybelline Dream Satin Skin 2 Way Cake in the shade B2 so that everything just mattifies it does not crease because under my eyes I always crease so this just settles everything and keeps it in place so my super babies how did you find this look yeah it's not over but i would just like to know please let me know in the comments below like how did you find this look even if you didn't like it let me know instead of disliking at least i know where i went wrong and now it's time for contouring and i'm using the estee lauder contour kit i'll put that in the description box i have a complete review on this like it's an awesome product you can see how it just chisels my face so nicely like a fluffy face gets to a little bony face I really like this one for the nose I use my fingers and blend it well with the contour brush from Vega and then to sculpt my nose again I'm using the dream satin skin two-way cake in the shade B2 just sculpt it well and now for the blush I'm using the Inglot AMC face and body illuminator in the shade 63 this is a nice beautiful pink guys actually it's a nice glowy glowy pink like a little shiny pink it's not too prominent but still gives that glow and then for the highlighter I'm going to use again the Mary Luminizer from the Balm it's my favorite oh my god I just love it and I'm using a fan brush from makeup for you and I just apply it at the usual place you can see that glow oh my god nothing can beat this I guess I like to apply it even between my eyebrows it just brightens my eyes even my face so I like to apply it there too and for the lips I'm using Pleasure Seeker Glaze from MAC. It's a very nice orangey nudish shade. Very light, too light. It's a very natural looking color. And now my look is done. I'm going to straighten my super curly hair and get back. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did and if it helped you in some way or the other, please hit a like. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to subscribe. It is completely free. You just have to log into your Gmail account and subscribe to Princess Priyanka Loves Food and Mac. And don't forget to share this video because then you will be helping someone or the other. And it will help me the most. Someone or the other will know about my channel and it will grow and it will mean a lot to me. So don't forget to share this video. And don't forget to check my friends' videos. All the links will be in the description box. And yes, Happy New Year to each and one of you who is watching me. I am so glad that I am a part of YouTube. 
It feels like super good and yes, Happy New Year, Happy 2016. May all your wishes get fulfilled and yes, see you later in some other video. Bye-bye.